Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So yesterday was the North American monthly qualifiers where you compete to see who gets to play in the monthly finals, which is where you compete to see who gets to play in the world finals at the end of the year. So yesterday we were undefeated and were placed against Tribe or put against Tribe, I should say, who was the one other undefeated team in the last round. We're going to be showing you guys all the games from that match. It was a really, really good match. And as you guys know, Tribe has been the best team by far in North America for just about a year now so it was really good games anytime we play them it's always really fun because it's insane level of competition but with that being said let's get into the games and let's show you guys what's up so going into the first game here we're going to be going with Rico left side Colette mid and Barley on the right the reason we go for this is you know Rico is pretty good on the left side um, Colette as a mid isn't the strongest Jesse's a really good mid um, but Colette does have really good damage once you get that super off onto the safe. So that's kind of why we went with the Colette mid. And then we have Barley lane because Barley is one of, if not the best brawler in the game. And it's just a must on this map whenever it's not banned. So we're going up obviously against Tyrant Star, Zulan, and Corey. Three of the best players or, you know, a, a, what some type of combination. Three absolute tier one monsters in North America. They are really, really good. So they get a really good early lead on us over here chip the safe really nicely and i have rico v rico lane i'm getting tapped a little bit by the jesse which does suck i'm able to take out zulan when he's supering the safe which was pretty lucky considering um that he had really good position on us so they already have a 38 percent lead and we're only a minute into the game so it's not looking too good for us over here og and tyrant are kind of juking it out over there on that right side Tuni gets that super off. So every time Tuni gets a super off, it's 13%. Theoretically, Tuni can super the safe six times, and one of us are just going to have to hit it with like one bullet or one shot, and that's going to win us the game. So Tuni's just chilling in the middle. Jesse's really good control. It's really hard for Tuni to push up on a Jesse because Jesse does th almost four shot or almost three shot, I should say, Tuni. Um, Tuni needs to take four shots to kill Corey. But Zulan's doing a really good job on that left side. He gets super on the safe and kills me. Tuni go goes with the super just in case the Jesse was walking up. Tyrant kind of overextends a little bit and we're able to get a kill over there on him. So they have about a 40% lead right here. Corey throws a turret right on top of OG. OG can't do anything about it. I'm shooting the turret. Um, Tuni's trying to go up in the mid, but nothing really available for us. Um, Zulan misses that super, but Tyrant gets a hit. Tyrant has his super, so he's moving up. I'm able to kill Korai over there. Zulan gets me down, or sorry, Korai gets me down. And so it's looking pretty good for the other team here. Uh, Tuni's going to get a super over there onto the safe. We're going to be able to take out Zulan. And 20 seconds left, not looking too good for us as of right now. Um, but we do have positions. So I'm going to be um, using my gadget when I walk up to get additional damage. We also got a kill on Korai over there. Tuni gets a super, OG gets a super, so they're raining it down on the safe right now. I get my super and get two kills with it, and somehow we're actually able to take that game and get the W. That was a pretty crazy game. The Colette mid did end up working out, even though it was really tough. So let's hop over into the next game, and let's see what happens. So going into the next game here, we decide to switch it up because they did beat us for about 2 minutes and 20 seconds of the last game. We kind of just had a lucky push at the end. Um, so we decided to go with the roughs left side. The reason we went with roughs is because OG is a really good roughs. Um, and the power-ups for me and Tuni are going to be really good. Now, something important is that Tuni's actually running damage star power instead of heal. Damage could debatably be the better star power, but when you're barley versus barley, the heal is really impactful because Tuni has to stop shooting the heal up or use his gadget as to where Tyrant can just keep lobbing uh, barley shots at Tuni, continuously pushing him back because he gets heals from every single shot he takes. Now, Tuni's doing a pretty good job so far. He's also supering the mid rather than his lane. Um, and this is helping me and OG more than it's helping himself, but he's just trying to help, you know, win the game, obviously, not just win his lane. Shout out to North American semi-pros. But anyways, um... It's kind of a stalemate right now. We're about a minute in. No one's really done anything. They have a couple shots on the safe. Uh, we get a pinch over here on Corey. So we get the kill. Now I have power up and Tuni has power up. So we're actually looking pretty good over here. Zulan does have his super though. And Tyrant does have position. Um, Tuni hits a couple shots. Uh, or sorry, runs into a couple shots. And then Zulan gets a really nice uh, super over there and kills, um, and kills Tuni. Which is pretty unfortunate considering Tuni had the power up and we had double power up. But it was a really good play by the other team. So now Tuni's backing up his lane really nicely. Tyrant is one shot in the mid. Korai is pretty low. And Zulan is pretty low. So we're actually doing a pretty good job here. But again, it's just a stalemate. No one's really able to get any finishing kills. 
um, or get too much position. Corey moves up a little bit aggressive there. I was considering going for the super. Don't end up going for it. Instead, I kind of waste it, hit, a, hit Corey a little bit, hit Zulan a little bit, and only do 2% to the safe. Um, but nothing ended up really happening from that. OG, I thought goes down, but he doesn't end up going down. Actually gets a really nice shot over there on Corey with 30 seconds left. Now, Toonie's trying to get some position. He has the power up. He gets super. While Tyrant's backed up, Toonie goes a little bit aggressive and gets a super off on the safe and covers a little bit of the mid. So now we have the lead. So we're looking pretty good with 15 seconds left. We have double power up as well. We just have to not get backed up. We get Korai pretty low. Um, we're able to get the kill over there, but unfortunately, Zulan does get a super, and so does Tyrant. So they're going to super our safe. We're going to move up over here, and we're going to try to finish it, but really good body blocks over there by Korai, and we are not able to get the win. Lose by 4%. That was a really good close game. Um, moving on to the third game. It's three sets, three games. It's the first to two wins per map in three different maps. So this is the match point. Really important match. Let's hop into it. Show you guys what happened. So going into this game, we were discussing our comps a little bit um, in between the games. And we thought Tick might actually be a really good idea. Since Rico has been really prominent and so has Barley. And Tick does have a good advantage against Rico and Barley. We decided to keep the roughs because the roughs also did really well. And we felt like you need a Barley and a Rico on this map. They end up switching to Tick, which is a really good decision by them, to be honest. Um, they definitely did have the advantage on that Barley v Tick matchup. Tooney did change though to the heal star power, so that's going to help him a lot in this match. It's not going to be too bad. Still advantage to Korai um, on that lane, but it's not going to be too, too bad. OG does get taken out by Zulan Super. Tyrant's going for a super on the safe. I believe he gets it. I'm able to take him down, but um, Zulan's going to be able to get me. Somehow that doesn't get, that Tick head didn't get taken out by Tooney, even though I'm pretty sure Tooney should have ticked it three times there. Not saying that he didn't, I think he he should have. I don't know how it didn't. But anyways, I get taken down by Azula and Super. They're doing really, really well this game. Um, OG's holding against Tyrant, which is pretty hard considering he definitely has an advantage over OG. Tooney's going to go down over there. Uh, we're going to be able to take out Tyrant though. So not too bad. We do have a chance in this game, but they do have a really early lead, somewhat like game one, where they're just chipping down with Supers. Um, but again... Pretty good. It's really hard for any of our lanes to be able to take Corey because he is a tick and he does counter both of them. Um, Tyron's getting a couple shots off. Um, Corey uses his super. OG's able to take it out. Corey's just kind of running in our spawn, being a little bit of a menace. Um, OG's going to pick up the power up. I'm just going to run into Tyron's shot, which really angered me. Um, and OG's also going to go down, which takes away our power up, which is really bad. Toonie luckily does have a super though at a really good time. So he's just going to super the mid, forcing them out of mid. I thought I got Corey trapped, so I super. He gets out of the super, and now I'm somewhat trapped. Luckily though, I'm using uh, Robo Retreat, which is the speed Rico, so that does help me out a lot. I'm chilling over there on that right side. OG goes down. We're able to take out Zulan over there though. Toonie gets his super, able to take out Tyrant as well. So Toonie's going to super the safe. So we're slowly making our way back. We do have position and we do have a power up. So things are looking decent. OG's able to get the kill over there on Zulan. Corey wastes his tick head by using it on a bag. I try and charge my super off of Corey. I'm able to get it. I super the safe. OG supers the safe, shoots the safe. And somehow, some way, we managed to come back in this game just like we did in game one and actually win the set. So it's now 1-0 in sets to us. First to two, one sets wins. So let's move on to the next game in the next set and show you guys what happened. So going into this game, this game was a crazy game, was extremely back and forth. So we're going to go with the dog. I'm sorry. I'm calling it the dog. I'm, I can't call it roughs anymore. It's, it's just not natural for me. To me, it's the dog. Um, we decided to go with the dog on the left side, Byron on the right side, since OG is an insane Byron and Piper mid because we love Piper. So we're able to pinch Tyrant and take out Tyrant pretty nicely over there, which is really good for Toonie. He puts the bags in the middle to help me out. Unfortunately, though, Corey's able to kind of take it out with one or two shots, and then the minecart just runs over the next one. So that one was a little bit unfortunate. They have the Gene mid, Crow lane, Mr. P. That's a really, really good comp. We didn't want to go Gene um, because we felt like Piper was a better mid with Max being banned. They can't Gene Max, so we thought Piper would just be better if you just hit your shots. Um, Corey over there gets hit by the minecart, trying to be a little bit, you know, agile. And OG's able to finish him and take him out. Toonie gets his power up pretty early into the game. So I'm able to have it at a pretty good time. He's going to go challenge Tyrant over there. Tyrant's won. Toonie's won. So pretty intense battle over there. 
Um, he actually gets another power up too, which is really good. I believe he gives it to OG if I'm not wrong. He does, okay, and I'm going for Zulan. I'm able to get the kill over there, which is really good. OG picks up the power up. I'm able to hit both of their players also with one tap, so it gives us position. But unfortunately, the minecart is coming, so we can't go and pick up the gems the mine because the minecart was blocking us, which was really, really unfortunate. Um, they have the Mr. P spawnables, um, kind of just coming through the map now, which is pretty rough considering it's one shot, but we weren't able to take it out. OG gets a really nice double super over there. Power up Byron is really nice. He also hits both of them, so we get really good position on that right side. A little bit untimely um, for Tyrant to get the kill over there on Toonie, but happens anyways. OG misses a super over there, um, which would have killed Tyrant. I'm able to pick up two gems and, you know, kind of just jump away. Corey hides in that right grass at one shot really well. And I believe Tuni got pulled. I miss what happened on the left side, but I think Tuni gets pulled. So 9-9, really close. Tuni has gotten like three or four power-ups this game already, which is really good. Um, he's doing pretty good considering Ruffs is not a brawler in which he likes to play that much. Uh, we got a good gem spawn. If that gem spawned on their side of the map, the game would have been over by now. Tuni also gets a really clutch kill over there. This penguin gets in my way, which is very unfortunate. So um, I'm not able to pick up the gem straight away. Zulen pulls me. I hit the minecart, bounce back. OG throws his Byron heal at me and then shoots me with all of his shots, keeping me alive. So that was kind of a wild um, chain of events right there. Uh, right over there they get gem spawn which kind of sucked but you know that's how gems happen it's actually been fairly back and forth the gem spawns this game so i don't think one team can really complain about it too much um they get the next one so again the gem spawns have been back and forth it's been pretty even 12 12 right now in gems but they have one in their spawn they do get another one over there though which kind of sucks it ended the back and forth cycle og misses, misses a super which i think if he kept and threw it on himself we actually would have killed tyrant and maybe been able to hold but even if so they got another gem spawn over there at the end and they're gonna take this win in a very intense almost three and a half minute gem game they're gonna get the win i think it was pretty well played og definitely carried us to that point though so i don't think we would have been at that point without og anyways but that was it for the first game I'm gonna take the l in that one so we're gonna move over to the second let's see what happens all right so here we go into our next game over here we decided to go with the Mr. P lane because we felt it was really strong. OG's going to hop over onto the roughs. They're going to have Piper mid. Zulan is an extremely good Piper. He's able to get the first tap on me over there. Misses his curve because I backed up pretty fast, you know, being afraid of the Piper curve and all. Um, but yeah, the first minecart goes their way. They have the first two power-ups. Three gem spawns and Zulan's already used two curves. So now I'm getting a little bit more comfortable since I still have three curves saved up and he only has one. So I start to get a little bit more aggressive. Tuni gets a hit on him over there, but he is going to go down. OG gets a power up fairly early into the game. And I think Zulan could have curved me if he wanted to there. But I think he was waiting um, for a different point of the game. Didn't want to use all three of his curves that early, which is a good decision by him. That kill wouldn't really have done anything anyways. I curve Zulan. He survives at 7 HP. I don't really know the exact interaction of Ambush Piper shooting a another Piper with the roughs gadget or sorry with the roughs power up but i've learned throughout this game that you survive with seven hp which is kind of toxic considering the amount of times it happened this game so again zulan taps me over there i'm just gonna go for a wild curve because the minecart was coming towards me and i think he assumed i would have just went back so i was gonna see if i can catch him lacking or something but i did not so we both currently have one power up left i'm able to get the kill over there on cory meanwhile og's been holding the lane really well over there on that left side considering you know dog versus tick is not really the greatest matchup for him um so it's eight to six right now in gems they definitely have the advantage and the minecart's coming our way we decide to stay up and be aggro and not fall behind because we need the gems we can't let them have any more tyrant's really low og's doing a really good job on the left toonie's doing a really good job on the right um i think og goes down here he does i miss my curve but at least cory popped his shield so we trade one gadget for one but we did stay up very aggressive when we had the minecart. They're going to do the same thing. But me and Tuning get a really good pinch over there on Tyrant. Then we're also able to kill Cory. Then Zulan jumps back. And unfortunate, you know, timing. The minecart just happened to be there. And then the minecart comes out. And Tyrant, I believe, is going to go for a jump. And then again, unfortunate timing. that he's just going to jump right into a minecart. So pretty intense last game. Or sorry, not last game. Second game over there. Um, was a really good decision by us to stay aggro rather than moving back when the minecart came. That's a decision that's always really hard to make. And especially when you're going aggro against a team like Tribe who just hits their shots and just 
claps, you works together as a team really nicely. It was pretty aggressive to go for that, but it did pay off really nicely. So now we're going to hop into the next game, which is the deciding game for the set. If we win, we take home the match. And if they win, we go to a final set. So let's hop into it, show you guys what happened. So going into the final game over here of the set, um, we're going to go with a mid 8-bit right side Byron and left side Mortis. So the reason we did this is because we went Piper mid two times in a row. We expected they would do something to counter the Piper mid on the third game, thinking that we were just going to stick with Piper. Um, so we wanted to just go with a more YOLO comp, I guess. Um, this is not something that we've ever practiced. It's just something, you know, we just decided, you know, 8-bit's a pretty good mid, Byron's a pretty good lane, and I guess Mortis is pretty wild. So that was our rationale with this comp. Um, so I'm already, I've already died two times. Corey's doing a really good job. Um, considering it's Mr. P versus Mortis, Mr. P can definitely go down pretty easily to the Mortis if the Mortis has bats and has the long dash and everything. I go to make an aggro play over here. I'm able to hit the bats on both of them. I kill Korai. I was going to go back, but then I decide to bat Zulan. I'm able to get the uh, the kill, and then I activate my gadget to run back so I can make it back on time, have a couple extra dashes. We only need one more gem, and then get a very good gem spawn, basically exactly where I was standing over there. I'm just going to pick that one up and dash right out. Toonies over there on that right side, just kind of going in, trying to do as much damage as possible. Um, sorry for the 10%. Here, I'll just rewind it for you guys. But anyways... Tuni goes down, um, OG goes down to the Mr. P over there because he was forced to the right side due to the uh, rough gadget being thrown, or sorry, rough power up being thrown at him. Zulan taps me once over there, Tuni gets the kill on Tyrant, Zulan taps me again, I'm 400 HP, so now I'm just trying to dodge as best as I can. 7 seconds is what I have to dodge for, Tuni spamming auto aim with the Byron thinking it's going to heal, heal me. He does not play a lot of Byron, I thought auto aim also just insta heals. Um, but anyways, I'm able to dash out. He heals me a couple times towards the end and we're going to be able to take the win against Tribe, which is always a really big accomplishment considering how good of a team they are. Now, this is just qualifiers, so it isn't like the monthly finals where the wins are as significant. Um, but it's definitely a good step for us as a team. We go 7-0, and didn't drop a set and made it with the first seed to the monthly finals. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, that is going to be it for today and that's it for the video. Again, I'm sorry I haven't been making that much content for you guys, been really busy as of late, but there was a lot of ideas that you guys gave me in the last video that was really good. So anyway, shout out to my team for coming first, you know, they're, they're goats, it's pretty easy to play when we have them playing at the level they can, but anyways, it's going to be it, I will catch you guys again soon, see you guys then, peace.